Hey there Leo, I hope you're all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Claire. I'm going to do a reading for you today. Today is a general love and relationship reading about the energy surrounding your connection and your person of interest. Okay, so all my readings are timeless. Please know that. I just trust that whenever you found this reading that there may be a message here for you, but these readings are just general, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Wow, those ones are out of my reach. Let's take a look. I'll begin with some oracle cards and see what messages we have for you, Leo. So I, you get these leaping out of the deck for you before you've even started shuffling, which is passion and unavailable. So it feels like there's an attraction here to somebody, remember these roles can be reversed, it can be vice versa. There is this strong attraction and a desire to make something happen, but one person in this connection isn't fully emotionally available for this connection. There can be a variety of reasons for that. We will take a look at what that might be um, and why that is. I'm sensing that there is this energy around the heart chakra where it may be a little bit blocked or closed, so this can be an unconscious thing, right? So it feels like someone's energy is kind of coming on quite strong and the other person isn't really on board with it right now or fully open to it. So it may be that you're trying to connect to somebody and you're just like, I know that there's an attraction here, right? I'm really feeling that, I'm really sensing that and yet you're unable to kind of get closer to them. Is kind of the sense that I'm getting, but like I was saying, the roles can be reversed. We have the card flirtation or flirt. So there could be these lighter energies here. There could be a lot of flirtation, talking about that attraction that we were discussing earlier. So it feels like there's some sort of connection in the early stages here, or it's just someone that you have like a lot of kind of, uh, it's flirtation, that sort of banter between one another that kind of exciting energy and exchange that you have with one another, but then maybe it doesn't progress. Uh, whoever I'm connecting with today, this seems like the kind of situation that's going on that it doesn't kind of progress to anything further and you're just like, why aren't you asking me out? Why isn't this a thing? I know you're attracted to me. What's happening? Or why aren't you taking it to the next level? We have such a good time together. I see that you share a lot of laughs together and that you've got the kind of same sense of humor and you're just their type and yet there seems to be some block to this connection so that's what i'm seeing for you leo oh my goodness you get the card chemistry as well so this strong magnetic attraction between you and this person this person thinks you that that um they that you are their perfect 10 right they see you as super attractive as a real catch leo definitely like a real catch someone that they would really really want to be with and yet there's this unavailability so maybe they're emotionally unavailable I, excuse me, unavailable because they've got this blockage or maybe they are like in another connection with somebody or we have a card wedding. Maybe because they're married to somebody else or they're in a higher level commitment with someone else. I see that here. Um, <clears throat> so it may be that they're kind of actually unavailable for this, but there is like a lot of kind of sexual tension between you both. You're checking each other out. Um, these things happen. There's no judgment. You know, the heart wants what the heart wants. So there is a little bit of that there, but yeah, like I was saying though, but you know, the other message that I'm getting is this kind of chemistry, this flirtation, this kind of intensity that you have between you both. Uh, you know, they do, it's not just a sexual thing. They do see you as somebody who is like relationship material. So it's kind of how they perceive you, Leo, right? Mm. We have a card solitary, withdrawn. So it may be that someone in this connection, like with this unavailability, is kind of keeping their energy to themselves a little bit in terms of like their heart space. Yeah, they're open to kind of flirtation. They enjoy your connection. They're enjoying the attention. They enjoy experiencing your energy, right? And that you're into them and all of this. But there's something about them where they are keeping uh, themselves to themselves in that respect. So. Um, I'm hearing that they need some time to think as well. Maybe it's like a little bit of a complicated situation. I'm hearing on again, off again as well. So there may be a bit of that, that they're in and out of your life or that, you know, when you see them, it feels really fun and yet it doesn't kind of progress is what I'm hearing. So let's just see. General theme, Queen of Pentacles, like I was saying, they see you regardless of your gender. They see you as 
someone who has a lot of long-term potential, somebody who's very magnetic, right? That you bring a lot to the table, right? And the, the question here is all about kind of longevity, right? It's just like, what is best in the long term? What can I invest in for the long term? This could be your energy, it could be their energy, you know, what? where should I put my investment for the long term, right? Should it be with Leo? Should it be with somebody else? All right, that's too many. Sorry, I haven't asked the question yet, so I can't draw the cards until I've asked the question. Let's see what's been going on with you guys. <clears throat> right, you get three of pentacles, the hangman, and the star in the reverse. This feels like, what do I want to say? You may have met this person at work or through a work colleague, something like this. I feel like there is this energy of kind of wanting to work on things or that you are progressing towards something, but now there's this energy of kind of stuckness and it feels like all hope is lost with this star in the reverse. Virgo's energy showing up here, Taurus energy and Aquarius energy as well. So that may resonate with you in your situation. So it feels like there's this energy of kind of hopelessness around it, of just being like, this person's tied up, maybe they're tied up in another connection or to somebody else, that they or that they've chosen somebody else, or you feel like, um, you've never experienced like this, something like this with somebody, you know, it feels like a very strong, not just attraction, but like a, a soul connection, like you recognize each other on the soul level, but it feels like this kind of nothing doing. I'm just saying that's how it feels like, it's not how it necessarily is, that there's kind of, there's no, no, no movement here, or there's some kind of stuckness, which is holding this back, and it's making somebody in this connection feel a little bit hopeless, right? I want to check in with your feelings, Leo, and see how... Uh, you're doing right now just to see how the energies align mm. oh my goodness so you get the six of wands in reverse the six of cups and the Hermit Virgo's energy showing up again for you. It feels like this is a soulmate connection. I'm really feeling it in my heart space. Could be a twin flame, definitely a soulmate. This is part of your soul family. I feel like you've known each other in past lives. This is definitely true that you've known each other. I feel like when you met them, you felt like you were home, like you'd come home. There was some kind of sense of safety or security with this person. And you're just like, yes, this is something that I can really get behind. This is This person feels uh, very safe to me and feels very familiar to me and feels like home and it's a very beautiful thing and it even when you met them for the first time it felt like you were reunited rather than kind of strangers meeting for the first time is what I'm sensing but what I see going on here is that you just don't feel confident that you will be able to make this happen that you'll be able to come together to have a relationship or that you will reunite if you are in separation at this time and this is causing you to there's this strong energy of self-doubt like you're really kind of spending a lot of time in your own energy and processing things and thinking things through and journaling or whatever it is we're just kind of in in that energy and just thinking am I always going to be on my own or am I not good enough? Is that the problem, right? And just not feeling confident in your own power in this, not just in this situation, but in general, it's kind of, there's something about this which has undermined you in some way or made you feel undermined. Maybe you were rejected or like there's this energy of just like, um, I'm unworthy of this love, of this connection, of, of this manifestation, of what it is that I want. I feel, some, I feel unworthy of it, right? Or not good enough for some reason. So there's this energy of, yes, I want this, and yes, I'm attracted to you, and yes, there is this beautiful soul connection here that we're sharing. And on the other hand, there's this energy of, oh, but I'm, I'm not good enough for the real deal. I'm not good enough for um, true love, okay? And that is not true, Leo. Okay, so let's see how your person is showing up for this connection. Yeah, we got this Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So I feel like your person is they feel like they're walking on eggshells. This is the thing that I'm getting with this Five of Swords, right? 
with because he's kind of it's like he's on stilts and it's like he's kind of walking on something sharp he's walking on these swords so it's like being on a knife edge or kind of walking on eggshells feels like it's quite a kind of precarious or um, delicate I guess situation right between you both for whatever reason maybe because you've got history together maybe because it's a situation ship or they're in a situation ship or something like this it feels like it's quite complex right in that they recognize the attraction they recognize that they've got something with you but it may be that they've also got something with somebody else right or um they're in some sort of situation that they can't get out of so this could be family responsibilities this could be a business responsibility right um, or like an unhappy relationship that maybe they're bound to, right? With this hangman energy that, that, that they are bound to that situation because they've got, um, it would be too expensive for them to leave or they're kind of, uh, they share a business or um, just because they've got children or something like this, but it feels like they're not happy or not 100% content in that that situation but it's too difficult for them to leave or they've just got responsibilities okay this may not be another person it could it's just the energies I'm just trying to kind of explain the kind of energy frequency that I'm getting so it could just be that they've got responsibilities and they have to be in that city or in that part of the world and so they can't pursue this with you um, even though they recognize you at the soul level as their soulmate, okay? So I feel like this is why progress has been slow. They do come towards you and they are coming towards you and getting closer because they feel this attraction. This page of wands is all about that flirtation as well. So they are taking steps towards you and they are kind of very curious about that. I see them wanting to connect with you, wanting to uh, kind of message you or talk to you is what I'm sensing as well from spirit. Mm, I just want to see which of these decks to choose. I'm not getting a strong energy. It's this one. Um, <clears throat> it, yeah, it feels like they want to talk to you. And I'm hearing out of the blue, so you may get a, some sort of call out of the blue or something like this, or some kind of serendipitous meeting where you can talk. They don't just want to kind of message you and say, hey, they really want to kind of clear something up is what I'm hearing um, from Spirit. They want to clear something up with you, right? Okay, you get Emperor, Nine of Wands, and Temperance. Okay, so they're aware that they need a plan. Aries energy showing up here. Sagittarius energy as well uh, for you. That may resonate with you. So they're aware that they need to kind of boss up, to level up, to kind of make a plan if they want to make this happen, which I see that they do want to do that. And they're kind of asking you to be patient, okay? There's just like, there's this energy of kind of... it being the right person, wrong time, is what I'm sensing. They're just like, can you be patient with me while I kind of sort my shiz out, right? While I sort this stuff out, because anything else just feels like pressure. It's just like, what I'm hearing from spirit is I'm not ready, okay? I'm not ready is what I'm hearing. But look, they're getting ready with this nine of wands, okay? They're kind of, um, they're not open to it right now. There is this kind of strong, decisive action of kind of looking to go in that direction, to make a plan, to kind of change things, to shift things, to make things happen. And that is a process. And they're nearly there with that. They're nearly at this kind of breakthrough. It has been very tough for them, whatever the situation is. It's been like a bit of a slog. It's been tough going. You know, that can be internal and emotional, or it can be their kind of uh, life circumstances okay maybe they've been through a lot maybe they've been through a divorce or like a death in the family something like this so there is this time of kind of healing of reconnecting with themselves of kind of recalibrating what do I want to say what's the word that I want to it's like assimilating right with this temperance energy of just like assimilating some of these experiences in order to move forward and they're just saying can you be patient with me i mean i would never say leo wait for anybody you carry on like being gangster and living your own life and uh doing you and working towards your own goals and dreams but just know that they do care about you they do recognize you at the soul level they see you you know they see you spiritually right they see you emotionally they see you they know that you're there right um but they, it's like with this emperor energy it's just like there's something I've got to do I've got to sort this out or there's something I've got to do I've got to tie up these loose ends or I've got to have this experience before I can explore this with you so there is this energy of divine timing here uh, for you guys which I know you don't want to hear and then I get a lot of hate but I've got to I've got to say what I see in the cards 
please don't shoot the messenger. But what's nice is this like, there's this energy of kind of taking action, right? In order to kind of let things settle down a little bit, in order to heal some of those difficulties that they've been through, right? Where maybe they've got practical problems that require solutions, or maybe they've been stretched too thin or whatever it is, but they're finding kind of a, a way to do that, to temper it, to, uh, to fix it, to find solutions, right? Let's see what else we've got here. <clears throat> this is the Hidden Truth Oracle. It does contain a lot of shadow energies in it. So um, we'll take a look at that. Here we go. I want you. Such a powerful message from them. And I see that echo. Oh, I've got chills. I just got chills, you guys. Um, echo from that page of wands of just like, I want you. It's like they see you. They identify you. They're just like, yeah, I want you 100%. I just want you 100%. But there's something, whatever it is. It's just like they've never wanted anything as much as they want you. It's just like, this unavailability could be their comfort zone, you know? It could just be, well, I'm just happy in my comfort zone, or I've, it feels like, oh, I've made my choice about my lifestyle, whether that is being a bachelor or a bachelorette, or, um, you know, being with somebody else, or, you know, being wedded to their career, or something like this, whatever it is. It feels like they've kind of made that decision and now they've met you and they're just like, oh God, this feels really, it feels like an entanglement to me or like they're kind of, there's some sort of entanglement within them. Look at that, we have, I'm not available. So we started the reading with unavailable and then we've got, I am not available. And I, I think you don't need the cards to tell you that. You're just like, you're getting that message. Yeah, I know this. I see that. And yeah, I want you anyway. And your person, they want you anyway, right? They're just like, I can't pursue this. I do want you. I feel it in my heart. I love the connection that we have, but I can't make this happen. <sighs> oh, I did a big sigh then. This is, let's see what else they want to say to you, Leo. I'm watching you from afar, that kind of energy of spying on you, checking you out, wanting to know what you're doing. I think they're checking you out and you don't even know it. I think they're looking at your social media or whatever, asking around about you and you don't even know it because they look like, they look like they wouldn't bother. I think they know more about you than you realize as well. I don't know why I need to feel like I want to say that, but it's just like, I don't know, maybe there are bits and pieces about you on the internet, you know, linking to other things. It's like they've been like really, really doing a lot of kind of Sherlock Holmes style uh, digging around on the internet to kind of find out more about you or find out what it is that you're doing now. Or just like, I don't know, maybe they see you sometimes and you don't see them. It's like, I'm sensing that there's been a couple of occasions where they, they've clocked you and you, you, you haven't seen them, you've been busy or something, so. Look, I'm not free to pursue what I want. This is a strong message coming through for you. I know this isn't like what you want to hear, Leo, um, but I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you the truth of what's coming out. So, and I think this, you know, if you connect with this and this is empowering for you, you know, if you're still here now, it's a strong message. This has come through three times now. I'm not free, you know, I'm unavailable. I'm not free to pursue what I want. But look, they want to tell you, I do want you. I do want you. I feel this like you feel it. And I do want you. But for some reason, there is like a block on this, right? This doesn't mean that it's permanent. Please don't think it will mean that it will never happen. We're just looking at a snapshot of the energies at the moment to help to give you clarity moving forward. Okay, so I think that is very beautiful. Which one do I want to go for? Mm. Mm. Sorry, I'm really doubting myself, like the messages that I'm getting today with, like second guessing myself. That's not the way, that's not the way we do this. Mm, do you want me like I want you? So they have like a powerful, passionate energy towards you. Like, and they may not be free to pursue that at this time and with what's going on, but they're just like, 
it's like this burning desire within them to know if you feel the same. What I'm hearing from Spirit is looking for clues as well, like I was saying with that Sherlock Holmes. They're just like, they're trying to get clues from your behavior, how you, uh, you are with them, or just in general, or trying to pick up on your energy. Of like, are you feeling this? Like I'm feeling this? Right. All right, I'm going to leave it there. That's everything that I have for you, Leah. It has been my honor to read your cards. It's been a super juicy reading. I absolutely love this for you. So, uh, but yeah, if you want more messages, all my readings are timeless. So check back uh, whenever you kind of want to and check in, you know, whatever you feel called to that resonates with you, then you may find that there's a message there for you in one of the other videos. I'm uh, adding more to them all the time. I just film them kind of when it resonates with me and I want to share a message. So uh, yeah, keep a lookout for those. If you feel called to, please check out Psychic Source. Um, if you want a personal reading, I highly recommend them. They've got gifted psychics on there. Um, all the psychics are vetted uh, before they're allowed to work on the platform. And best of all, they offer a satisfaction guarantee. If you don't like the reading that you get, um, then they will give you a free reading with the um, psychic of your choice um, so that you can have another go um, and and connect with someone who who you resonate with okay so uh, psychic source are offering Lumia subscribers their first reading for just a dollar a minute so it's an amazing deal it's a beautiful way of getting someone to connect to your own energy and really look into this situation and the future energies moving forward and how this is going to unfold for you okay so check that out if it resonates it's linked in the description box below this video but i'm sending you so much love you guys thank you so much for being here and i look forward to seeing you again soon you take care Bye bye